looking at this game one, Empire Strongholds is just one of the fastest game types in the game, and it really gives an advantage to Cloud9's individual ability, in my opinion. But guess what? I, I was totally wrong. They're tied up in that game type, 50%. And looking at that right there, I'd say it's pretty even. It is, and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, Nighty. I'm really torn when it comes to these two matchups. I, I'm a big fan of Inconceivable. I love Boo Boo Dubu and the boys. Uh, back back in the uh, the first half of the Pro Series, they were running the house. They they put up four wins on the board, but I think there's something to say that Cloud9 caught their stride later on in the season, and they've been red hot. If you put a gun to my head, I'm going to go Cloud9, but I'm not confident about it. Game number one is going to be <laughs> Empire Strongholds. They're going to be fighting over that overshield and that camouflage. This is one of the hardest maps to control because you have two different power-ups that you have to prioritize. But what, what are you going to what are you gonna put more resources towards? Uh for me personally, I just love having that camo and Stronghold. I never feel safe without it. Uh, if you grab the OS like Sab did, you still got to be a little bit nervous because that Boo Boo Doo Boo or any of these guys really are just so darn good with it and can sneak up behind you at any time. But talking about predictions, I've got to have Cloud9. It's, it's just their tournament to lose in my opinion. I think they are just all so darn good right now. Penguin and Renegade have proven to be some of the best players at the moment. Right now, they're putting in the grind. They're putting in the most time. They've got a ton of wins under their belt. They just won the eSports Arena. Uh, Penguin and Renegade are top of the world, and who better to have the camo right now? Penguin trying to make some big plays here. He's got a little bit of camo left. If you see the timer in the top left there, he's got about a quarter. And he's going to try to make some plays. He does get an easy kill right now. And now he's going to just get away. He baits himself, gets the beat down in. And that is all four dead for Inconceivable. I love the storyline between this. You know, you have, there's, there's a lot of them. You have Boo Boo Dubu, formerly teamed with Renegade under that splice banner. You also have Bound, who was also former uh, that base. former duo with Renegade. Enemy they used to score. run 2v2s, including Money Tuesdays. Capture. We got used Your to seeing them team score. together, and now we're seeing them apart at 9 to 6 lead in favor of Inconceivable. The points being put on the board for Cloud9. Boo Boo Dubu going to be taking out Renegade. Boo Boo Dubu getting into another gunfight. Luckily, Eco coming in for the cleanup. Falcator takes out Stellar. Bodies are hitting the floor here, Alex. Enemy team. I'm not even going to start singing that song. I love it too much. I'll probably sing it too long, and it'll be cringe. But, yes, they absolutely are. Slays are coming in hard. Let the bodies hit the floor. Eco going to get a really nice save in there, help his teammate to stay alive, and that's exactly what you need to see when you're seeing these strongholds take over. But Boo Boo lands the perf right on his head, takes him down, and Cloud9 are in perfect control of the map right now. They're going for the triple cap, and they are going for the West. Oh, he grabs it just in time, slams it into his chest right as he's about to get headshot. But there are three players on him taking that OS down, and it looks like it is all gone. Two down for Cloud9, so the number is going in favor. Inconceivable. And that was actually just a momentary squad wipe right there, allowing Boo Boo Dooboo to take full advantage of that. It's he gets secure. himself a camouflage, you and with no overshield score. to kind of neutralize this, Boo Boo Dooboo just has to play sneakily. And we, we talk about it all the time. Whenever there's plays being made with the camouflage, it's usually in the man, the, the man out of Covington, Louisiana's hands, Boo Boo Dooboo. Yeah, one of my absolute favorite professionals in the scene. He is just that guy that can make some of the smartest decisions Attention with this power-up. You see he's got control. about a third of it left. He jumps over the grenade, but that's not going to be enough. Sab, Sab is able to get that huge double kill. And if you guys didn't know, Sab is actually in here last second for Skeptify. Skeptify was on this roster. He was Boo Boo Doo Boo's uh, duo for the Money Tuesdays. But then at the last moment, they got Sabinator in, and I'm pretty happy about that. I, You know, it's unfortunate for Skeptify, but I, I really like Sabinator's play style, and I think he is a very strong addition to this team. This is one of the biggest wild cards that I've seen because, as Tool said before, you know, can, can Sab fill the big shoe that Saiyan left when he moved back to Envy as Eco going to be taking Sab down, the man in question. Stellar going after Boo Boo Doo Boo. Eco taking out Bound, and look at that. Even though points not being put on the board for Cloud9, they seem to be winning the Slays battle as Falcon going to slide into Stellar's DMs right there and put him down. <laughs> Great double kill from Falcated, making sure to get that. Renegade and Stellar going to try to do what they can. Sab's flying in here to get 
this score. defense off. He's Base able to get defense. it. Excellent Base capture defense. assist out of Sab. He's just going to try to keep his shields. Two grenades come flying in. He was a good distraction. It allowed Falcate enough time to get a easy kill. Now he's going to try to do his rounds here and secure this OS. He needs to land these shots. Oh, he put his head down. Stellar with a clutch live. I can't believe Falcated didn't hit those shots right there, but the overshield is going to go in the hands of them. And look at that camouflage being snuck in and gets burned. I mean, it's not, it's its definitely not what you want to see. You don't want to see the camouflage burn, but I'd rather have it go down than go in the hands of my enemy. So Renegade holding down top tower right here. Three players in front of him goes in for the challenge, ends up staying alive. Both players going to collect a different angle here. And Ben Renegade goes down due to a former teammate bound. And this is absolutely just as close as close can be. This is not what I was expecting. Cloud9, I thought, was going to be a little bit stronger here, but Inconceivable doing a fantastic job. I was talking with Hunter JJX yesterday, and he was saying how Boo Boo and Falcated, they, they are the land winners, right? They won the last uh, land with Spartan and Ace. They are all stars in Halo right now. They've been doing exceptionally well in the twos, the HCS, the esports arenas. They've been playing outstanding across the board, and they are absolutely absolute superstars going into Halo Infinite. You got to watch out for Falcated and Boo Boo. They have been putting in the time. Yeah, and it's crazy to see that skill translate from game to game. You know, we've seen them uh, we've seen them play well in Halo 3, H2A, Reach with the, the tournament that they actually won, and hopefully Infinite. I mean, hey, it's right around the corner. It's closer than we think. This is the send-off tournament for Halo 5. We're going to be saying goodbye, uh, rightfully so, and, and hello to Infinite soon. I can't wait. My whole body's ready, Alex. Seven days until E3. Seven days, Tony. But we have got a comeback here a little bit. Cloud9 back into this one. But the control is in the favor of Inconceivable. That's three dead for Cloud9. And now the OS and the camo are going to be played for. This is a huge grab if they can get both of them. They're going to be waiting it out. We see the sword in the bottom left. That's going to be Eco with the OS. And now the camo is going to be waited on bound with an excellent job baiting that one out. He's going to fly in. He nails the plasma pistol to take out that OS player. And he jumps in and gets a double kill, killing spree out of bound. Ladies and gentlemen, Bound is back, and he's taking his throne. Ends up killing uh, Stellar on his way down. 77 to 57 lead in favor of Inconceivable, and we both pick Cloud9 to win, and we might be eating our words once again. Inconceivable looking good. Penguin dropping the nade on Boo 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 gets the kill. Also going to be taking out Bound, gets the double. Stellar taking that third player out. A little mini squad wipe in favor of Cloud9 as the dribble kill going to come in. Can Cloud9 make a comeback and steal this game? away plenty of time to do it four minutes 45 seconds they can do this no problemo they just need to really shut this team down inconceivable is starting to look a little too hot right there cloud nine needs to say hey 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 settle down settle down killing spree out of penguin though and he's gonna live this is gonna be huge objectively they're gonna get this double hop onto the stronghold looking for the weird spawns penguins making sure he doesn't get flanked and now he needs to push up hardcore and make sure they control these spawns. They want to be the masters of the rest of this game to close it out. Renegade with a big double kill. He's going to get some great shots in to help out Stellar. Now he just needs to get this clean up onto this player. This player's not making it easy, but he does get it. So the triple cap is in effect, and they are about to take the lead in no time. I love the discipline out of Renegade right there to keep his height advantage towards outside blue, going in towards outside red and taking out Falcated with a hot five once again. Renegade always keeping that elevation on his opponents is probably why he wins most of his gunfights. He always has some kind of advantage as he drops the blueberry to take him down before he goes down. And we're about to have a tied up game here and Cloud9 are putting good points on the board. They might just end up taking this lead here, Nighty. Penguin just grabbed the OS. It was immediately taken down below half. We do have Cloud9 ready for this camo. So if they grab both the power-ups here and they're getting the slays, that is just going to be so terrible. Renegade with the camo, one of the worst players that you could have have it. He is just going to tear through this team. He goes for the guy. It's one shot. He helps with the second, and that is going to do it. The end of the game. Perfect plays out of Renegade there at the end. Uh, I was interviewing him all last week, and he said, I'm the closer.
I'm the guy that game wins over. the game. Victory. And he was just so confident about the way he said that. And he just puts it into, uh, he takes words and puts it into action right in front of our eyes. Well, the closer and friends gonna close out that matchup right there. And then you know what? I think Renegade's probably one of the more, more interesting players in our league. He's one of the few players that play without clawing or without paddle. So you'll notice every time he thrusts, his reticle never moves. It's because he has to take his thumb off of the actual right stick and actually press the thrust button that might be X for him. And it's, it's absolutely insane. It, uh, to me, it is. I, I, I promise you, I'm, as, as a player that plays without claw and without paddles myself, it is a huge disadvantage, and Renegade doesn't care. He's still one of the best slayers that we have in our league. Yeah, I mean, it's about comfortability. It's about feeling, you know, the best you can at, at the highest level. Like, when all that pressure's on, you want to go with what you're comfortable with, what you practice the most with. And learning a a new style takes a lot, lot of time. And during that time, he's going to maybe have to take some L's. And Renegade, he doesn't like L's. He only likes the W. So <laughs> I don't think he ever had time really to adjust. He just wanted to keep winning. But uh, yeah, I'm the same way, Tony. Like I, I have never adjusted to, to claw or anything like that. Never using paddles. And um, yeah, it, I can't say that it's easy in Halo Five. It's it's a it's a challenge. So hats off to that man. It's I got a lot of respect for that. All right, we're behind the desk right here and not playing for thirty thousand dollars. Thank you, Sentinel, for throwing this event. Thirty thousand dollars. This is probably the biggest prize pool that we've seen in quite some time. Your send off tournament. Cloud Nine ended up winning game number one. But I will say, Nighty, I'm sure you can agree with me. They inconceivable look. Excuse my language. They look damn good. They were they were controlling a lot of that game. Did they show you anything that maybe can make you think they could tie up the series by taking Rig Slayer? Yeah, they put up a great fight in game one. Um, I think one of the biggest things that stuck out to me was their stamina. Like towards the end of the game, they weren't doing the same things they were in the beginning. They weren't making sure to take over the power ups, uh, making sure to really fly in as a team. And they were just really losing their focus. And I think that's where Cloud9 has the advantage because individually, they're both on the same level, really. Like, you know, they can hang. Inconceivable can hang with Cloud9, but at the end, it's it's all about that marathon, right? You're you're not running a sprint. It, it's it's making sure that you can keep up that same level of intensity the entire time, and uh, hopefully, Inconceivable can do that. Uh, but I wouldn't put my money on it. Cloud9 are just too damn good. They look so awesome. They're my winners for this tournament. I I have a 3-0 honestly, but uh, this is a great start for Inconceivable. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I might be wrong. Sab with the double kill. Camo in the hands of Boo Boo with oh. the sniper. This is bad. You know, similar to Empire, there's a lot of resources on the rig. You have the sniper rifle, you have the camouflage, you even have that that scatter shot, which can be which can be absolutely deadly. As he misses the first one, hits the second. Renegade gonna get a double kill off of screen there. The nade connects, takes out Penguin, and we have a seven to five lead. Make that eight to five lead as Boo Boo Dooboo is going off, even body shotting with a no scope. Boo Boo Dooboo is back. Renegade grabbed that triple kill, and then that opened up the map for Cloud9. But Boo Boo said, "Sit down. I'm gonna want. I'm just gonna be that one guy that disrupts everything." And he maintained that control and that space for his teammates to come off of their spawn. Excellent play by Boo Boo Doo Boo. Uh, he missed a couple shots there, but he's keeping them in this game. Boo Boo Doo Boo doing a great job of taking out Stella right there. Still has about two shots in the sniper rifle. Whipping the first one has Penguin in front of him. Gonna keep that height advantage. Dropping down, almost getting the no, uh, oh, almost getting the no scope and the back smack, but nothing connecting. Renegade gonna win that individual gunfight. Bound challenging Renegade, trying to stay alive here. He needs some support from his teammates. Are they coming? Sab with a big double kill. We've got the scatter shot in the hands of Sab. That's going to be huge to take over. Massive, massive weapon to hold on this map if you want to just make sure a lane is secure. Nobody's coming around that corner and going to live to tell about it. Sab's going to help out his teammate here. Never mind. That's going to be a great trade from Stellar. Good job getting that kill. There's two at the tower. They're going to take down Sab easily. And now the camo is up. The fight is out for this. Renegade's just going to dive for it. 
and he grabs it. There's his stats for Rig Slayer. Very good from the HGS seasons. Three and one with a an even KD. So not the best, but hey, it's all about the dub. And that's all that matters is Renegade gonna be taken down thanks to Sab. Sab's staying alive. Has a, he has Bound in front of him who's taking some heavy damage. Wasn't able to get there in time. Penguin gonna be awarded the kill for that. Boo Boo takes out Stellar off of screen. 21 to 19 lead in favor of Inconceivable. They were, they've always been a good Slayer team. And they're showing it right here. They have the lead. Sab with the nerdy jumps trying to get up top. He's going to get some help from his teammates, and he knows exactly where that player's going. Eco, though, he knew that somebody was coming for him, and he lands the shots that count. Boo-Boo, he's got the snipe again, trying to line up these shots. Almost Lost nails him. Lead. If he could shoot through walls, that would have been a headshot. Boo-Boo loses that snipe. Snipe down. Eco with a big double. Now Cloud9 starting to take over control of the map. Eco is ready for this spawn. He knew exactly where to look. As soon as he turned around, now he's just trying to play this one sneaky. He knows he's got the flank. He's going to listen to this call out. His teammate is there. Eco playing this one exceptionally well. Cloud9 getting all the kills. I was watching Frosty's stream a, a, a little while back, and he said he said Eco, one of the highest IQ players, as far as Halo IQ in the game. So, I mean, Ren obviously Renegade and friends have him. Cloud9 looking good. Also on this Cloud9 squad is Penguin, who has a sniper rifle. Three shots in it. What are you gonna do, Zane? Killing spree. Eco once again just getting these awesome cleanups. That's gonna be a killing spree out of him. Penguin lining up the shot. He's gonna get the perfect shoulder shot to help his teammate out and save his life. The camo's gonna be up here soon. Penguin is blocking the spawn over at BR base, so very smart job out of him. And he is just going to try to back up his teammates who are going to get ready for this camo. So now the camo is secured, but it gets burned by Stellar. Bound is able to be there, and that is going to be a massive, massive kill out of Bound. And he gets another one on to Eco, but Penguin's here, and he's going to do some work with his snipe. And lucky for Cloud9 that Penguin was able to neutralize the situation a little bit there. There was three players that had that inside control while Camouflage was up. Stellar had a, what, what it thought was a clear pass no, to get it. Shit. Ends up backing up towards Engine 2 and right into a back smack is bound getting a double kill. Falcon it takes out Eco. Three players for Cloud9 go down and they're hunting down the fourth. Yeah, still a close game. Anybody's game here. Bound just playing this one slow. He knows that he can get double teamed here. He checks his flank, and that was perfect timing. Eco gets zero damage on him. The killing spree from Bound, that is going to be huge at this time in the game. Sab with control of the scatter shot. That's going to be massive. And now they're only four kills away from tying this one up. Camo is going to be up in about 45 to 50 seconds. So look out for that. And we are getting root down to the wire here. Sniper's going to be up in about 20 seconds. I know Boo Boo Doo Boo was one to get that one. He's gotten the pass two. Eco gets a nice trade, and that's pretty much what Cloud9 needs to do right now. Just hold forward and get trades. And as we are approaching the end game here, there's only three kills that are separating these teams. Penguin going to get a hit marker with that nade, but Boo Boo Doo Boo going to make him pay. Falcon takes out Renegade, still with two kill games. Seven more for Cloud9 to come out with the win. Can they hold on to this lead? Yeah, absolutely they can. This player stuck out in the open on Sniper. Bound's going to get a crucial trade. That is going to be a big kill to get. Sniper is still up. And two players are there waiting for it. And that is just unfortunate because Cloud9 were in the perfect position to clear both of them out. And now another player made the same mistake. So they just gave up three kills to go for that Sniper. That You can't have that happen. Tony, that was huge right there. Cloud9 baited that sniper out. And look at here, only two kills away from winning this game. There's no way that Cloud9 can choke this one. Renegade still has the sniper whiffing the body shot, but whipping out his pistol immediately to get those cheeky shots. That player's still alive over towards Long Haul. He's going to try to get towards a teammate who's now pushed that perimeter. That was Yellow Corner. Penguin doesn't care. He takes out Falcated. Renegade has the final player in front of him. Can he get it? Whips the quick scope, gets the body, but Renegade goes down. 
Nico playing this one as slow as he possibly can. He knows how important this camo is. He's got the sniper. He goes for the high percentage Victory. shot with the pistol. He knew that he needed to hit that, and he was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to shoot him with my pistol. It's that easy. I see my teammate helping me out here. Just get the kill. Get the win. That's all that matters. Don't need to be flashy about it. And they're up 2-0 in this game. 18 kills coming out of Renegade. We saw before, we, we saw Renegade stats on Rig Slayer in the past, and he was, a, he was like, has a, he had even spread. This was not even. This was far towards that kill corner. 18 kills and also even 10 assists, dropping 2,663 damage, 61.8 accuracy. On the other side of things, Bound stepping up for his team. And, and this has kind of been the storyline of the series. It was game one, the same thing happened, game two. Inconceivable look great. Bound dropping 20 kills. They look amazing. They have the game in their hands, but they're just not able to close things out. Cloud9, you said it. Renegade's the closer, and Cloud9 will close. That's exactly what it was. Honestly, Inconceivable had the opportunity. We could have seen a win from them this game. Uh, but once again, Renegade putting his words into action, just being that closer that his team needed him to be, he was able to bait out that snipe. Because who's the first first person you think on cloud nine that would want to get that sniper in their hands it's renegade he wanted yep. that in his hands but he knew for a fact that the whole team of inconceivable was going for it and was going to be focused on it and sure enough three or four people were all focused on the sniper when it came up and that is one of the biggest mistakes you can make at high level play is not playing for the fight you got to play to fight for that snipe before you can go for it and they all put themselves out of position and, you know, I talked about Inconceivable not closing out games. I want to also, you know, I want to make sure that I keep the narrative on Cloud9 because it's 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 not it's not so much Inconceivable choking it. It's just Cloud9's ability to rise above and to close it uh, close it out. I mean, that that's that's what it's all about ultimately. And Cloud9 simply have it. We're going into oddball on Echelon. And Nighty, in your opinion, should, could we see a different result here? Or is Cloud9 going to end up pulling the sweep? There's only one more win needed. I think if I remember correctly in the head-to-head -head that we saw. Now, Saiyan was on this team, so that does make a big difference. We just saw <laughs> Saiyan off a hot win uh, against KCP. K Saiyan's playing outstanding today. Uh, but looking at those statistics from the HCS, I believe Cloud9, or Inconceivable, has the better small. record against Cloud9 in, in Oddball. So I'm looking for an Inconceivable win here. I think they have the advantage, whether they have Sab or Saiyan, it doesn't matter. Incredible grenade out of Renegade to read what that player was doing and getting away with this camo. Camouflage in the hands of Renegade at the moment who's holding down top. Pelican gonna advance forward towards top green. This is where you kind of want your camouflage player to be elevated on the map, able to see things out, plan his next move, and execute as Renegade gonna catch the nade. Ends up getting the trade-off kill, but I, I would I would like to see Renegade put that more to work. Boo Boo Dubu clutching out with that kill. Great cool. trade by Boo Boo Dubu. And a big double kill from Bound, making sure to prioritize his targets correctly. Excellent work out of him. Going to bait this ball. Teammate comes in, takes him out. Penguin making a good play here on the objective. But they're doing a great job at fighting around that oddball and not letting either one of these teams get away with it. So this is, this is excellent play out of both. Stellar just going to back down. Doesn't need to take too much damage right now. Just needs to wait for his teammate to get his shield back. But never mind. He's just going to soar out and assert his dominance on the Falcated. Double kill. 10 minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Only eight All points wrong. between these two teams. So both teams really bounce. wanted to slay out before ball they dedicate uh, their resources towards grabbing that ball. They want to make ball. any mistakes as we Inconceivable does go two down. The slays are going out in favor of Cloud9. Now the ball time also going in favor of Cloud9. And, the and they're putting good time on the board. Stellar holding ball down this wrong. Pelican to pipes. Has we the green gun. Ball. Drops it. Killing, killing spree so earned so for Stellar. Renegade takes bounce. out Falcon and Cloud9 looking good. New but luckily, Inconceivable was able to force them to Rocket play the ball. Seconds. What a start from Stellar, just making his rounds, really protecting his teammates Enemy well. But just neither team being able to really set Rocket up and get ready. a good amount Close of ball time here. Finally, we see some get on the board but i think the slaves are just going to come in through from cloud nine stellars with the rockets he's going to put those to use renegade he's in a 1v1 fight but he's got the help from penguin eco we just saw he's going to be able to grab the camo so the ball in hand rockets in hand and camo 
in Eco, but oh my god, bound Game with the below. camo eyes. He takes out Eco. That's going to be massive. Ball hold. Wow, great job for Bound for taking him out, but Penguin, Stellar, clutching up, getting him three down once again. Cloud9 winning the Slays battle. Not putting points on the board just yet. Stellar we wants to get rid of that player in Falcated. You have two players flanking the weak side over towards top lift. Ball Stellar run. taking heavy damage. Nades are coming in. Eco rotating the ball all the way towards Pelican. I like that play, ball 90. 90, I love that play. Ball incoming. I love that play. Just soar off the map. You, you know, get right ball. back in it with your teammates faster. Ball. That's what matters. We saw that yesterday. <laughs> Ryan Noob just jumps off the map when he wanted to get back together with his team. Oh, my God. Bro. Oh, that scared the living <laughs> hell out of me. Bound, you almost got ninja my brother. But he recovered very well from it. Gonna ball get the drop. double. Gonna get the, the triple. Ball. That's what I'm Three. talking about. Bound doing Game some good lead. damage right now here in this game. And a great day being thrown by Penguin, but it Enemy doesn't matter much. Falcated ends up getting the headshot kill. Booba Dooba trying to stay alive, but Seller has something to say about that. 10 point lead in favor of Cloud9, but an oddball, that's pretty much nothing. It might as well be tied. Oh my god, look at Enemy that. Has the ball. Inconceivable's record 12 and 4. The KD, ball not rough. the strongest, but also very consistent. Enemy has the ball. Bound just. Absolutely being a force on this you map. You can tell it's a game type he likes, and he is really just proving those stats right at the moment. <laughs> Making sure to hold this ball in a good location. You see where both of his teammates are. Boo Boo Doo Boo with the Rockets. He's going to secure that kill onto Renegade and maintain his life. Good job out of him. He's going to lay down some assisting fire for the other team. He actually shot his teammate twice there, but it didn't matter. Sab shot was staying true and was able to win that fight so now we're seeing a huge huge difference here inconceivable coming in hot the camo you can see renegade just burned so a very big kill by an inconceivable make sure renegade can't take advantage of that power up and we've just got double kills left and right from bounds and I noticed that Eco, uh, the Eco Smith, uh, <laughs> jumped off the map, committed suicide on the kill feed, and at that moment, inconceivable, one of the best at taking advantage of the enemy's mistakes, went on a bit of a run, 77 to 39, in favor of inconceivable. Now we're gonna see if Cloud9 can bounce back and they can recover off of this situation, because right now, inconceivable have their setup locked in, and you ball know, in oddball, if you can lock in that we setup and ball. you can get that secondary round of slaves, of you can put time on the board, ball Sally. That's coming. not gonna happen. Cloud nine forces the play you ball. And that's another thing that we definitely don't want to see is if either one of these teams get a good hold on the ball is to and not get that ball. play ball. That play ball is absolutely crucial, making sure that they have to fight for it in the middle of the map again. Inconceivable did a good job right there, making sure that happens. Bound coming in with another double, just being super aggressive. Oh my god! Enemy has Bound the just got a triple kill, almost a ninja onto Renegade. That was so close. I was watching the overlay. I was like, is this gonna happen? He almost got the ninja. Either oh, way, bro. got the triple. That's still nice. Falcon is taking out Stellar. Bound gonna drop down and just like that, two Enemy down go cloud ball. nine. And this is looking possible. Ball Inconceivable. All they gotta do is keep playing ball the way they are and hold on to their lead. And they can finally Rocket make this a field. bit of a series Two as Bound ball. is really starting to heat up. Yeah, he is absolutely okay. You know what, Caster Curse. Let's just forget about what we just saw right there. But uh, yeah, the the team is starting to do really well. They are gelling r real at the perfect time, right? They needed this game time to stay in this one. Boo Boo almost landing that triple kill, narrowly missing that shot. Bit of a little matrix action right there. I like to see that not taking any damage from it. He's gonna be able to land some damage down for himself. I'm not sure. If the camo got away, if one of these players Enemy has, has it ball. or not, I'm thinking Dude. that it got burned uh, once again because both teams have pretty much been staying on top of it. So, yeah, the camo's not in play right now, so that we definitely helps ball. Inconceivable. Uh, definitely do not want to have Cloud9 make a run with that power up. We've seen Renegade ball and what he can do. Sab is just playing blocker right now for the ball, the ball player that's going to be three Five down for running. cloud nine and inconceivable are in position to start bringing this one back
You notice how Inconceivable really predicted that play to come over from, uh, from that underbridge side, and they they literally stacked over towards bottom needles. As soon as that player sl slid in, they just pounced on him, put it a 2v1 situation, won that battle, and then once again, another three down for Cloud9. Inconceivable about to take this game. The scoreboard ain't getting any prettier. Sab doing a good job playing a distraction right now. He doesn't take any damage from those grenades. Great read. He's going to start playing for those rockets. Ball I'm run. loving what I'm seeing out of Sab. Sab is just playing with so much confidence against this Cloud9 roster, and that's exactly what Inconceivable Bro. needed from him for today. Right He's just seconds. making all of the right plays. Right now, he doesn't need to take much damage at you all. I would have liked ball. to see him back off from that kill. I understand what he's trying to do, but he knew that the other player was going to go for the ball. But now there is a position where Inconceivable really need to close this one out. They need to be the closers. That We've just said it the past two games. Inconceivable were not able to close. <laughs> they only need four seconds. So I think they can close this one, but I've seen crazier things. Yeah, even though Inconceivable didn't get to play the ball right there as Camouflage is up and ready to be picked up by uh, Eco. Uh, you, you, and they did give themselves, you know, they had a 100-point lead at one point. So they guess I, they give themselves a little bit of lead, which will allot them to make a mistake or two. But don't make too many of those because I promise you, Cloud9 will make you pay as Renegade winning another individual gunfight against Falcon. Eco still has that Camouflage as being a nuisance. Boobo Doom wasn't able to spot him out. And three down going Inconceivable. Can Cloud9 pull off one of the best comebacks in Oddball history? History. If any team's going to do it, it would be Cloud9. Cloud9 are that scary of a roster. Um, I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to put that energy out, but I think it's one of those things that's just gonna ha it's just gonna happen. And right now the slays and everything are in the favor of Cloud9. But Falcon and Abubu open it up just like the stars that they are. They're able to get the kills that matter when it matters the most. Three down for Cloud9, and that's gonna be the game. They're coming in for the reverse sweep in this series. I mean, when you when you put yourself in a situation where all you need is four more points to win, you know, yeah, any good round of slays and that's it. You're gonna you're that's gonna it. obviously take the game. Uh, looking at the uh, the score here, 74 points earned by Boo Boo Doo Boo, the top player for uh, in, I'm sorry for Cloud Nine was actually gonna be stellar at 35 points, and now we're gonna see these kills. 30 kills being made by Bound. If there's one player that stepped up in the absence of Saiyan, it has had to be Bound. Bound has just been playing great all tournament long. I I'm loving it so far. I really am. Yeah, honestly, look at that. Jeez, Bound absolutely went off. 3,700 damage. Uh, we saw Bound in the beginning of H2A with the HTS season, and... He got the team with Ola, you, you know, one of his heroes. And he's been one of those guys that, like, he's never been to a LAN. He's never really got to team with professionals. He's always played with them in Money 8s. And, uh, you know, he's just been dominating the Money Tuesday scene. He's been killing it ever since uh, the beginning of Halo 5. And he's been that that guy, right? It's just he's like the new formal slash snipe down where... Everybody's talking about him. He's never been to an event. We can't wait to see what he's all about when he's under the brightest of lights. And he just keeps getting better. So it's just, it's real scary where this guy is headed because he is such a raw talent. And not even, it's not even just about the shot. It's not even just about his uh, slang ability. It's, it's about his master of the mechanics and the aggression he's able to put on the enemy team with his movement. If Infinite has even, even a quarter of the movement that Halo 5 has, I promise you Bound will be successful as we're moving on to capture the flag on Fathom. You have the camouflage up top, Railgun down low, and both teams start off with a light rifle in their base, and in the right hands, a light rifle is a power weapon. Yeah, and this, I've been, you know, uh, I've been a fan of it since day one. Fathom CTF has been one of my favorites ever since the game came out. I, I know a lot of people hate when I say that, but I just, I'm a huge fan of Fathom CTF. Boo Boo, he's going to get the jump that I love so dearly. He's going to go for that camo, and he's going to miss the shot, but that would have been so slick, so smooth if he was able to get away right there. Renegade, he's going to try to get that cleanup. He's not able to do so. Falcon is going to win that one, and Inconceivable win the fight for camo. 
and it's in the hands of one of the most dangerous players that we have in the game and that's gonna be bound real gun and lr in hands making his way over towards top mid looking for a headshot to take Renegade gonna be the first one to go down. Tab, his teammate goes down as well. There's a player bottom mid who ends up getting the back smack on the camouflage player. That doesn't happen much. Usually it's the other way around, Nighty. Yeah, I mean, Penguin was like, I'm the apex predator today, baby. I'm coming in hot. I don't care if you're the predator. If you've got the combo, I'm coming after you. And he just hunted him down. A lot of the times you want to see that. You want to see the camo player have a lot of pressure put on him. You want to read his movements. You want to make sure you know where he's going at all times. You want to make sure that you're putting out those predictions wherever you can uh, and make that camo player feel unsafe. Because if he feels like he has the board, if he can make a run, then... I mean, he's a really dangerous player to just have out there. We're going to see some big trades coming in over in the base. I'm going to see where this flag is going. That's going to be three dead for Inconceivable. And Stellar, he's going to get that return and put the flag in first on the board here for Cloud9. Light rifle in the hands of Stellar, putting the aggression on his silo here. Actually electing to go. I don't, he does, does he know the players around him? They're playing ring around the Rosie. What's going on here, Nighty? Finally, the shots are ringing out. He takes out Zab, advancing forward towards the enemy team's base. And that's one of the things I like about Fathom. You get one or two kills, walk a couple of steps, and you're in the opposing base. It is so easy to get those weak side flanks, but make sure you control top Red mid, because that's most important. Great grenade placement by Renegade, but even better railgun placement by Sab. He's going to land that shot. Good prediction shot out of him. He was able to charge that one up and landed it. Sab taking over the map right now, trying to land this one, but the prediction aid comes in. Stellar takes him out and almost gets a double kill. He's going to back down and wait on his teammates. Turns around, gets some extra shots in for Renegade. Railgun's still in the hands of Boo Boo Doo Boo, and he's got the Predator combo. Eco off a of screen gonna take out Falcon. If Boo 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 holding on to that railgun, not able to hit the shot right there. Has the light rifle in his back pocket, but he's running a little low on ammo. Doesn't matter, has his fisty cuffs and drops the people's the elbow on Penguin. Bow gonna get a kill, and that's gonna be two down for Cloud Nine. Boo Boo's still playing this one sneaky. He's got about a third left of this camo. He's got a player right behind him. That player's gonna give himself away. Oh no, he runs out of ammo. But his teammate is there, and that is going to be three dead for Cloud9. Boo Boo making a good play here to stay alive, using his teammates to help him. He's got the rail gun. He's still got some extra shots in it. He's waiting to put it to good use. Falcade going to get a good pick here. Boo Boo says, to hell with it. I'm just going to get this flag up a little bit more. But he does die, and Renegade's going to get a huge double, and that's three down for Inconceivable. So we've got two players getting that return and it is going to go back. So we are just getting this fight up for control now from Cloud9. Eco going to get a big double kill going in for the trip. Stellar going to get the cleanup. So Cloud9 just looking too damn strong. Yeah, Inconceivable did a good job of getting that flag out of the base, but then he went three down. Come off a of spawn, go three down once again. You know, you can't go three That's down like twice in a row without a flag being pulled, and Stellar is in position. Renegade takes out Falcated. That flag, the flag. That flag is on You're the move. Spotted. Yeah, I like his patience, patient play right now. Renegade's just going to wait for this one, get the slay first. He knew Sab was waiting for him. He's going to win that one. He's just going to wait for his shields. Boo Boo gets the flag out and gets the trade. The railgun was up. I'm not sure. Bound had it, and now it's in the hands of Eco. Renegade getting the second run in, and Eco's going to be that blocker for him, taking down Sab. So the slays are just too much out of cloud nine they are doing so well at prioritizing the kills making sure they get the camo and stay on top of it huge kill by sab though taking out that camo player that could have been the end of the game very very pivotal win out of sab making sure to get that guy off off of top middle and he kills eco sab coming up with some big slays and that's seven minutes and 30 seconds in the game, that camouflage being picked up, you know, that's kind of late for that's kind of late for a camouflage. I wonder if both teams are aware of that pickup. I mean, that's like I said, it's pretty late. Falcon takes out Zeller on board now with Boo Boo Dooboo, who has Falcon, who takes out Renegade as well. So that's going to be a double kill. Finally, he's going to get cleaned up off the screen by Penguin and Boo Boo Dooboo just staying alive in, in, in the enemy team's base. In, I'm sorry, excuse me, in his own base. One of the biggest jobs that a coach has is making sure that certain players do not get away. 
uh, that a, a guy that's flanking that's been weak, like something that got, me you know, just missed in the communication. That is a coach's job. So if there's a camo that's super late and it hasn't been accounted for, you can guarantee it that Hoaxer on the side of Cloud9 is all on top of that. He is writing that down or he is making a mental note of it and he is making sure his boys are in line. He is that fifth member on the Rail team and he seconds. is a leader on that squad. I was interviewing him last week. He is so confident about today. Trust me, he is on top of that camo, making sure that it doesn't get away. Oh my God. That player just <laughs> ran right into that nade, no shields, and said, I don't care, I'm gonna take it, no problemo. There is so much aggression on the inconceivable base right now. This could be it, three dead. Defend our carrier. Three dead, and they're in position to pull that flag. Luckily, Bound gets a clutch kill on Renegade. Penguin gonna have to go in for the cleanup. That flag is on the move. It's actually Stella, who's already advanced to his own silo, catches a nade, stopped short here. Sab and Falcon are getting kills. They need about one or two more before they can fly in for that Protect weak up. Can Inconceivable stop this? Spot of the enemy they're on a counter pull. Yeah, they answered back extremely well. Great slays. Huge nade that came out from Our Sab. Sab just giving some enemy really pi big pivs, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Sab. Just playing outstanding against today's one of today's best teams in this tournament. So hats off to him they coming in you. as the last minute fourth and doing some massive things. Falcated Five here holding on me. to this flag. He knows that there's three players around him, so he's just gonna throw the flag out so it's much harder to return. Yeah, with a flag in the middle of the map, his teammates can come off a spawn no matter what yeah, side and bait it, return. but the camouflage still gonna Enemy come in for that recap, and that's Victory. gonna allow Cloud9 to put the third and final cap of this game and this series here, Nighty. Cloud9 advancing forward into the winner's bracket. Yeah, Cloud9 executed where it mattered. Um, and Oddball obviously was not a strong game type for them, but they... <laughs> Hey, they loved them some Fathom CTF. They got the job done, too. The, the kills were not so much in their favor this time around, but look at the assists. They had a really good job at focus firing these boys on Inconceivable. They were taking them down, getting the damage in. We saw some great individual plays out of Penguin, out of Renegade, taking their time on the objective. Penguin making sure he hunted down the Predator combo, did not let Boo Boo Doo Boo do his signature play of just playing around his team, he was like, not today, buddy. I'm going to get up in your face and take you out. He was going in kamikaze, and it worked every single time. So allowing his te uh, team to do that, Penguin just was that ultimate utility player, and he doesn't get talked about enough, honestly. I think Penguin is one of the best players in the game right now. He's putting in the time. He's putting in the work. And it's really going to show today. That was a fantastic series out of Cloud9, and I'm ready for more. Lots of questions being answered in that series. You know, is, will Cloud9 remain hot? Yes, they will. Will <laughs> And another question, though, was will Inconceivable still be able to hold forward and play the same Inconceivable game without saying on the roster? And yes, they did. I, I, I promise you. Look at, the, look at the series. 187, 50 to 47. 150 to, uh, to 90 and then obviously the three overtake that out of the equation inconceivable in it every single time and one or two things go their way and inconceivable win this and we're talking about them moving forward and the upset of cloud nine being knocked into the lower bracket i think that's worth talking about i want to watch out for inconceivable throughout the rest of this tournament